It was also a big week for cyber on Capitol Hill. Both chambers of Congress hosted some of the nation's top intelligence officials. They did not paint a pretty picture, as Diane Cho reports. It's no secret the number of cyber attacks by state and non-state actors is growing. But the deputy secretary of the Department of Defense says the more troubling aspect is the increased frequency and scale of state-sponsored actors hacking into the U.S. government and business networks. The recent spate of cyber events that have been in the press, the intrusions into OPM, the Sony, and the joint staff networks by three separate state actors is not just espionage of convenience, but a threat to our national security. As a part of the DOD's 2015 cyber strategy, its three core missions include defending the DOD's network systems and information and defending the country in what it says are cyber attacks of significant consequence. It has to include either a loss of life, significant damage to property, serious adverse U.S. foreign policy implications or consequences, or serious economic impact. Now, that's a broad statement, and each of them have to be addressed as an individual act. Congressman Jim Langevin, a Democrat from Rhode Island, says imposing costs, such as economic sanctions on a potential adversary, is a critical component of the process in trying to deter future attacks. Some of our responses may be classified, but others we need to make public so that uh, our enemies know, our adversaries know, that they, they can't operate with impunity, which is what really is happening right now. It's like the Wild West out there. And, and they're on the, the better side of the equation. In three years, the DOD says it plans on creating 133 cyber teams in the cyber mission force, which will be comprised of more than 6,000 civilian and military personnel. One challenge, it can't compete with the private sector in matching salaries. And while a government shutdown was avoided this week, Admiral Michael Rogers, the head of U.S. Cyber Command, says any hint of a possible shutdown could hinder the process. The workforce is very open with us about, I'm not so sure I want to be part of an organization where I, there's this lack of control and I can't count on stability. That really concerns me because I can't overcome that. For Government Matters, I'm Diane Cho.